<laughs> well, what are you doing? That looks like fun. Oh, hey. <laughs> I was just practicing my tactical maneuvers and skills. Been watching a lot of Grand Thumb and administrative results lately. Never heard of those bands before. Why are you dressed so funny? This is my kit. You know, my body armor covers your vitals. You know, all the important stuff. Well, what if you get hit in your tushy? A what? Your tushy. Your fanny. Your rear end. Your keister. Your keister. Is this some sort of like hip new slang? Boy, you're gonna make me say something I don't wanna say. Your butt. Oh, I actually have that covered. Let me show you my special underwear. What are you doing? What? No, hey, no. No, 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 no I ain't about that. I want to see that. No, 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 no. You Linda, understand? Linda. Linda. No, look. Call the cops. No, don't call the cops. What's up, everybody? My name is Scott, and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. We're back out on the range, and today I have some very interesting body armor to show you. Let's go check it out and get started. I don't know if you know this, but tables are not cheap. The least you could do is hit that subscribe button. So it's pretty common nowadays to own some body armor, and body armor is used to protect your vital organs. But what a lot of people don't realize is you have some very important arteries that travel through your pelvis and into your legs. I felt like this was a problem that needed to be solved, so I brought this issue to the fine folks over at Premier Body Armor, and they designed these. These are custom tidy whities that have been made with body armor. There is level 3A body armor laced all through these. And today we are gonna put them to the test. I have a lower torso that was sent to me by Ballistic Dummy Labs. Let's go ahead and get this thing suited up. <laughs> ah, perfect fit. Look at that. <laughs> I'm actually pretty impressed right now with Premier Body Armor. I feel like I should at least try to wear a pair also in the video, you know, for science. Two hours later. I don't know. I feel like they make me look fat. Okay, we've got our lower torso set up with our bulletproof underwear and we're gonna start out with a 22 long rifle and I'm gonna be using a Smith & Wesson 22 Victory. In the right cheek. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. We hit right here. And okay, we do have a mark on this side here. I guess just from the sheer force of the round. This looks pretty good. Okay, moving right along. We're going to step it up to a 5.7. That's a 40 grain round. And I'm going to be using the Ruger 5.7. Let's go for the left cheek. <laughs> kind of awkward to run in these. We hit right there. Oh, that is stuck to the torso, but, oh. We got a little bit of a, a split. But, the round did not make it through the other side. You would have felt the 22, you would have really felt that 5.7. Up next, we're gonna step it up to nine millimeter. I'm gonna be using some Underwood ammo, 124 grain full metal jackets, and I'll be using the brand new Smith & Wesson Competitor. This thing has an all metal frame and is stinking sweet. Let's go right in the middle. We have a good hit right there. I can actually see the bullet in there and we have no marks. So as of right now, these bulletproof underwear are doing pretty good. 
Up next, I have a handgun that you have not seen in a while. This is a Glock 31 chambered in 357 SIG. A hot little round. These are some Underwood ammo, 125 grain bonded hollow points. So we hit just under the nine mil. Okay, so if you look in here, it's kind of stuck to the torso, but it appears that the armor did stop the 357 SIG. I say we take a few more shots back here and then we'll flip it around. Next, we are gonna use 45 ACP. These are Underwood ammo, 230 grain jacketed hollow points and I have a Smith & Wesson M&P 45. <laughs> 45 ACP! Only gotta hit them once. So right there's where we hit. And I made a pretty big hole, but the armor did stop the 45. These underwear are starting to look like mine after taco night. This next round is a spicy one. 10 millimeter Underwood Ammo Extreme Penetrator. And I'm gonna be using a Glock 40. Oh. Mm. Let's have a little look-see, shall we? Oh, okay, we can see here that the armor was pushed between the torso's legs. Uh, <laughs> so we hit right there and it caught it, but that would have hurt really bad. It looks like you potentially could have, oh, yep, your tailbone would have been broken. So you wouldn't have a new hole, but you'd have a little trouble setting down after that one. Okay, I'm gonna put these back on. And I think I'm going to go ahead ah, and flip it around to the front side. As of right now, I'm feeling pretty safe in my Premier Body Armor Tidy Whities. It's time to step it up a little bit. Up next, I have a Glock 50 Cal. This is chambered in the 50 GI, and that is a 275 grain jacketed hollow point. Ooh, I would not want to be that lower torso right now. Ah, oh, I felt that. Ooh, you know, if I had a choice, I'd definitely rather be hit in the backside. Uh, oh, okay. So it stopped it. But again, you, ooh. That would have really hurt. So we got coverage all through here too, so probably gonna hit the sides next, maybe. Uh oh, our table's starting to go. So these underwear are rated up to 44 Magnum. So we're gonna go ahead and push these tidy whities to the max. Up next is 44 Magnum, that's Underwood ammo, 240 grain jacket and hollow points, and I'm gonna be using a Magnum Research Desert Eagle chambered in 44 Magnum. not feel good okay yeah that that looks painful as you can see the body armor is has been pushed into the torso it does appear that the body armor stopped the 44 magnum that just ah that would hurt so bad but you would not have a hole in your pelvis the premier body armor Bulletproof underwear have done exactly what they're rated to do. Now let's see if they can do some things they're not rated to do. Up next, we are going to hit the bulletproof underwear with 500 Magnum. This is my BFR 500 Magnum with a 20 inch barrel. And I'm going to be using some Underwood ammo, 
350 grain jacket at hollow points. All right, here we go. Well, folks, this is what we call a bad day. All right, um, that looks really bad. Let's, let's flip it over and pull these off here. So as you can see, oh, what was that? That was a rip. The round just came out the back. <laughs> so this is all wadded up and now kind of feels like a diaper. So not only did the 500 Magnum pierce the body armor, it also pushed the body armor into the torso just a little bit and then came out the back of the torso and here it is right here. So now we know what the bulletproof armor's limit is and that's a 500 Magnum slug. So now let's back it back down for just a second and try out a shotgun. This is my Remington Road Warrior double barrel 12 gauge shotgun, and I'm gonna be using a 12 gauge three inch double aught buck. I love this thing. <laughs> Woo, gotta hang on to this sucker, you know what I'm saying? Here we go. You definitely would have felt that one in your tushy. Whoa. Okay, well, you definitely would have felt it. You would have known that somebody behind you had a 12 gauge shotgun. I think it all kind of stayed. Yeah, it's all right there. Look at that. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, there's another round. Look at that. That's insane. <laughs> Scraped it out of there. There they all are. All of them. Stopped every single one. Wow, what's this one? I don't know what that is. But there's another bullet, it just kind of fell out, just plopped out of there. So I'm gonna put these back on here and we are gonna take one more shot at the back side. I would use my pair for this last shot, but at this point, I kind of want to keep them. So the bulletproof tidy whities are pistol rated, but we need to hit them with at least one rifle. And we're going to make it a big one. This is a CZ 550 bolt action rifle, and it's chambered in the almighty 416 Rigby. That is a 400 grain solid. But I have nicknamed this the 416 Honey Badger because it does not care. This round has consistently made it through everything we fire it at, and I know for a fact that it's gonna blow through those undies. Okay, I'm gonna get as centered as I can. like I hit right here just above the nine mil it blew right through the body armor went into the lower torso blew through the front somewhere here and then blew through our cinder block so check this out it actually went through the premier body armor logo that's pretty cool so what i've learned today is if you have bulletproof underwear and you need to blow a hole in them you have two options one go to taco bell or two get a 416 rigby <sighs> feels good to take those off what did you think about today's video and the bulletproof underwear? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed today's video, do me a big favor and give it a like. And if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button. Also be sure and check me out on Kentucky Customs, Kentucky Ballistics Shorts, Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all those can be found in the description down below, along with a link to KentuckyBallistics.com. 
just in case you want to pick up a shirt. And as always, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics. See you next time.